John McConnell and the Victoria Gold team were looking to open the Eagle Gold Mine in the Yukon and set out to secure financing, but no one could have predicted the perfect storm they'd be up against. In 2018, a downturn in the global economy had investors keeping a tight hold on their funds. The financial climate when we uh, first wanted to raise money to build Eagle was difficult. Canadian banks weren't interested in talking to us and capital markets wouldn't support uh, a big equity raise. So we had to look at alternatives. It also proved challenging having to sell investors on a mine located in the Yukon, Canada's north, in a challenging and harsh Arctic climate. People were skeptical about heap leaching in Canada's Arctic. There were a lot of people concerned that in an Arctic environment, everything would freeze up. John knew it would take persuasiveness, tenacity, and more than a little creativity. I think the whole thing was unique. It was done with non-traditional lenders and non-traditional equity holders. In the end, the financing was with Osisco Royalties. We sold them uh, an NSR, plus they participated in an equity financing. And then Orion Mine Finance put forward a debt package, plus they participated in the equity. While the financing didn't follow a traditional path, with persistence and John's innovative take, the funds were in place, and the Eagle Gold Mine was a go. The pandemic, however, had other plans. COVID started just as we were beginning the Eagle operations, and uh, you know, one of my biggest concerns was government would shut down mining operations in the Yukon. We were at the maximum debt, and shutting the mining operation down would have been devastating. With the threat of operations coming to a grinding halt, roughly six to 700 employees and contractors would potentially be out of work. Roughly 40% of our employees are based in the Yukon, so it would have had a big impact on the Yukon economy. We made a lot of changes logistically because airlines essentially shut down, so we had to go to charters rather than commercial. During the pandemic, we went to four weeks in and four weeks out. Resourcefulness, a little imagination, and the drive to see the financing take place resulted in great value for stakeholders in the Yukon and Canada. John knows firsthand just how important a mine can be to a community. I grew up in a mining town. My dad was a mine electrician. Certainly my brother and I uh, had a wonderful childhood. I love my job and, you know, I've always said that if at the end of the week I can't point to something new that I've learned, then it's probably time to look for a different job. John knows enough about financing mines, as he says, to get himself in trouble. But he also has the good sense to surround himself with a great team. It says John McConnell and the Victoria team at I just think of us as one team. I don't think there's any magic to John McConnell. The Prospectors and Developers Association proudly bestows the 2024 Viola R. McMillan Award for Innovative Financing of the Eagle Gold Mine Development in the Yukon to John McConnell and the Victoria Gold Team.